Good morning, YouTube. As you've seen in the previous shots, we're cooking bacon on the grill. Doing two things. Seasoning my new grill and cooking breakfast. I think it's going to be a good one. i seen this on somebody else's page. And I looked at that and said, you know, that'd be good. I'm going to try it. But I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to make mine a little bit better, I hope. So, join me as we make breakfast at deer camp. All right, this is my version of what was on that uh, barbecue channel. We're going to do the bacon. We're going to have, get this over, smoked sausage. Onion and hash brown. That's on there to try to keep them turning brown. That's a little late for that. They're turning brown. We're gonna top it off with cheese, season with some kosher salt and some ground black pepper. All right, and of course we're gonna have our eggs. Now we're gonna get started. Pour a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan just so things don't stick. And I'm gonna take. This greasy pepper towel, kind of smear things around, get the sides good, so we don't want nothing sticking, especially the eggs. It's a little too much, but we'll make it work. Alright, this is a little different from what was on that barbecue page. We'll take our hash browns, we're going to have a layer of them on the bottom. Sprinkle them around. Yeah, they're turning brown on me. I I tried to stop that. I used a little bit of a citric acid, but I didn't want to use too much because I didn't want my breakfast taking like tasting like lemons. But once it cooks, you'll never know. I'm gonna get a layer of them on the bottom. And don't forget to drain your potatoes like I did. I had to go do that. Save some for the top. And use the when you wring them out, use the same one you used when you did when you washed your hands at fish when you're fishing. And we're gonna put the sausage in there. It don't really matter how you do it, just sit it in there. Put another layer up on the top, or some more up on top. So, and then in that video, those guys took their bacon and rolled it up like little roses. I think we'll do the same. And they took and they stood it up like that. So we're gonna do the same. It's getting warm out here. Yeah, just take two pieces and roll them up. Just kind of set them in there. Now the bacon took about 40 minutes to cook on the grill. So if y'all want to try it, I suggest you practice first. I used a medium heat. I don't know exactly how hot the grill was. I used about a half a chimney of charcoal with indirect heat and then occasionally I put it over top of the fire. I'm going to take the rest of our bacon make like a crust out of it around the, between the layers of stuff. How you, what do you think about that? I think that'll be good. Yeah, just like that. Make it like the back of a pie crust. Yeah, just like that. I think we're going to have to just rob one of these. Yeah. It ain't got to look pretty. All right. And we're going to take 
like some onion. Onion in there. Onion good. Just one small onion. Chopped up. Right. More sausage. Charcoal. I had to start another thing, a chimney of charcoal. So we'd have some hot coals. Well, this is going to take about, about an hour. I'm going to use semi-indirect heat. And so be, since I got hash browns, I'm going to have coals underneath the pan as well as stacked up on the side. We have enough hash browns to cover the top, but if we don't, that's okay. This will be breakfast tomorrow, too. I guarantee it. Get some eggs all in there. There we go. All right. Everybody gets the egg. I'm gonna take the leftover of the hash brown and just kind of. I should have done another tater. That was just four small potatoes. All right. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, put it on the fire. I've got a couple coals on the bottom and then some on the side for um, side heat. And we're gonna set this off to the side and we're gonna cover her up. I'm gonna close the vents down about halfway. I shut her completely down, but most of the way. And come back in about 30 minutes. All right, we're about 15 minutes into the cooking process. We're gonna pop the lid, see what we got going on. Somebody once said, "If you're looking, you're not cooking." I say BS. If you're not looking, you're burning. Oh yeah, starting to look real good. About another 15 minutes on this way, and we're gonna flip around the other way. All right, we've been at it, at it for 30 minutes. We're gonna rotate it. I think next time we'll just leave the hash browns on the bottom. I didn't think they'd brown, but I didn't think they'd turn gray either. So we'll turn this 90 degrees. I'll give it another 30 minutes. Looking good already. Mm. Alright, we're about 40, 45 minutes into it. Let me check it. Yeah getting done hang the lid right there and this is where we're going to add the cheese man don't that look good well, first we're going to sprinkle on some kosher salt uh, just enough and some black pepper
never have too much black pepper. Sprinkle on about a cup or And I said rotate the pan 90 degrees earlier. I meant to say 180. But I don't believe I did too good in math. All right, for the last few minutes, I'm going to take this pan and set it directly over the bulk of the coals. Hopefully we get a good crust on those hash browns. Let it sit for about five minutes. Let the cheese melt. We'll set it out right, and let it sit for a minute. It's done. It's been going for about an hour. Don't that look good? We'll set it over here on tailgate. Let it rest for a few minutes. Man, that pan is heavy to goodness. Yes, sir. We'll let that cool down a minute. All right, we're we gonna cut, cut this and get it on the plate. Pan's still hot, so be careful. Hash brown was stuck to the floor. To the spatula, I'm sorry, and they're hot. All right, don't that look good? All right, all right. time to go eat it. See you later. Cover up. Ooh, that handle is hot. Don't do that, folks. That handle got hot. Cover up.